to my YouTube channel. Yes, today no painting video. Uh, it's a bit different. Um, I thought it's time to make a video video just about masking fluid because I use it a lot lately. And yeah, people keep asking me what the blue stuff is. I'm painting over and rub it away. Or uh, um, people who already know what masking fluid is ask me often um, how to use it because it destroys the paper and if I have tips to give. And yes, I have some tips and um, but I also have to say that it's yeah that it's always a bit bit risky to use masking fluid. It's you have to keep a lot in your mind when you when you use it and yeah so the first tip I give is test it before you use it. Test the paper, test the masking fluid, test it with um, yeah not only a few minutes and then rub it away, test it for a longer time, leave it uh, yeah paint more layers over it, really wet layers and leave it back for one day or two days and then rub it away. So you can be sure if this will work, you won't destroy the illustration. Um, yes, this is the first tip. One moment, I need a pen. So. First, test it. <laughs> okay. Um, the second thing is, and really also very, I think the most important thing, why, why often it destroys the paper, it's the paper. And it doesn't mean that you need an expensive paper, a high quality paper. That ha this has nothing to do with the masking fluid. Masking fluid, some really great papers don't work with masking fluid. Like my one of my favorite papers, Milford or the Saunders Waterford cold pressed paper don't work with masking fluid. I, uh, I just already destroyed a few illustrations because of this. Sadly, don't work with it. Um, so, really the second tip I can give, use the right paper. Well, what, what is the right paper? This is a good question. I also don't know. Um, I had made the experience that masking fluid works better on hard papers not not so good on soft papers the softer and more absorbent the paper is the more ris risky is it to use masking fluid um well i won't use it in general on rough paper the rougher the paper is the more absorbent is the paper and so it's could be that the masking fluid goes into the paper and this shouldn't happen because the masking fluid should lay on the paper and not go into the paper. And so, yeah, use the right paper. Yeah, some cold press paper maybe will work with masking fluid. Um, some also not. You find maybe some information on the websites of the paper. Uh, I saw it on Saunders Waterford and Milford paper um, that it don't work or just maybe work. <laughs> um, yeah, well, I already saw it on my own <laughs> illustration, so, but later I read it also on this website. And yes, I, the only thing I can say is yeah, test it. Um, Arches paper, for example, works really good with masking fluid. Well, the cold pressed and the hot pressed, because it's a hard paper. Well, the 300 grams paper and the 200 grams paper, not the not the really heavy paper, because it's rougher and softer. So, if you want to use masking fluid, uh, maybe Arches is your paper. <coughs> But you can also do your own experiments. I said 
it may be it's not a question of of quality uh, well of course you you shouldn't use it on computer paper but you also shouldn't paint with watercolors on computer paper well you know what i mean when the paper is not so good for watercolors i think it won't also be good for masking fluid and the yeah and the the smoother the paper is also the, the better the better it will work with masking fluid <clears throat> Um, the next tip is, yeah, also use good quality masking fluid. I don't, I only know this monitor, um, this Schminke and Daniel Smith's, um, masking fluid, or you can also say liquid frisket to it. And also this Molotov, but the Molotov masking fluid is not not so good for watercolor paper because it's too liquid but this is another question i will answer it later and yeah these are good good quality masking fluids and they work quite good on different papers i also heard about other masking fluids no name masking fluids maybe or, or other brands that are not so good i don't know which brand that where I didn't know them. Um, Winsor Newton should go be good, I think. I heard that it's good masking fluid. Also, Dale and Rowney, Rowney should be good. Well, I don't know what's what's what masking fluid you have, but as here, the first tip: test it before you start an illustration. Third point. Good quality um, You can also get the Schminke masking fluid in white if you prefer white masking fluid, but um, I prefer blue because I see it where I add it especially when I put it directly on white, on the white paper. Um, this one is, is white. This is also really good, but I prefer using this one. And another recommendation is don't buy these pens. The, these pens are... I don't know why, but they always, when I yeah open them for the first time, it's everything fine, but then I close it and I after a few weeks and I reopen it, it's always started to dry. And this is really a waste of yeah product, I think. So don't buy them, they don't close good enough. Yeah, so I prefer um, using this small jars. Um, next, really, really important tip is don't leave it too long on the paper. The longer you leave it on the paper, yeah, the more it could be that it not yeah, that you don't get it off anymore uh, or that, that you destroy it. I can't say how long you can leave it on it. I think it's it's different from paper to paper. Um, There's also a thing, test it before <laughs> you use it. Test it how long you can leave it on the paper. If you need, if you make a more bigger painting if and you maybe need to leave it two or three days on the paper, I really would tested before and well I think on um, on smoother paper it will be better than on rougher paper but I would test it before and um, and I've heard that the blue could stain into the paper well I I, I never had this problem with this masking fluid only with this Molotov masking fluid this stains really really 
extremely into the paper. But this one not. It's, uh, it's a really light blue. Well, I, I would say don't leave it longer than two days on the paper. But maybe if you use it with hot press paper, you can leave it longer on the paper. And if you use it on more cold press paper, I, I wouldn't leave it too long on it. Next point. Um, yeah. That's ah, removing the masking fluid. Well, you can, of course, rub it away with your hands, but I wouldn't do this. Uh, your hands, also when they are washed, uh, also have, are always a bit oily. And this is normal. It's not that you <laughs> have oily skin or something. Uh, this is normal, so I won't use a norm you know, your hand. Well, sometimes when you have really thick masking fluid, you can pull it off. Um, this is also not what I'm doing. Uh, I use an eraser for small things. Like this one for a really small thing, I use like uh, this, the eraser should be more hard, not too soft. And uh, but mostly I won't. Uh, I use a plastic, a really normal plastic bag, and then I put it around my finger and rub it away. And you should, of course, you. Should, when you rub it away, you should, of course, wait until it's completely dry. Also, when you paint over it, you should always you should all wait until it's completely dry. And um, yeah, wait before until it's completely dry before you apply color, and also before you rub it away. Also, the color should be completely dry. And sixth point: don't use a hair dryer. Don't use a hair dryer while masking fluid of is on the paper because it's well it's plastic or, or rubber stuff I don't know it yeah it can yeah I, I won't I well I don't know if it if it be a reason if your paper is will destroy when you use a hairdryer but I think it's plastic stuff and it will m maybe melt a bit or get hot and Maybe goes deeper into the paper. I don't know. I won't use it. And yeah. And I have the feeling that it really, yeah, that it really helps when you don't use it. <laughs> don't use the hairdryer. Don't use the hairdryer. Why? Masking fluid is on the Okay, I think these were the points. Uh, they hopefully help you when you're using normal masking fluid with a brush. And yes, and you can apply it with different tools. I prefer using using a brush, a tiny brush. And if you have really, really small lines to do with masking fluid, you can also use a glass pen. But don't press too much on the paper when you use it. But I prefer using a brush. And yes, uh, and the <laughs> most question is about this marker I'm using. But this, I will answer that question to it later sorry um, and you can easily clean the brush when you yeah first clean it with a brush 
brush brush cleaner and a brush cleaner with orange turpin turpinny turpentine turpentine whatever it calls and and you can this is really good and you can um yeah you can wrap the plastic stuff from the masking fluid with the with this stuff and a paper towel easily out of the brush and then you can clean it with your favorite soap you like to clean your brushes with okay and now the masking pen the masking marker masking fluid marker i made well i have this tool these are by molotov but as I said, this masking fluid from Molotov is really not so good for watercolor paper because it's too liquid and too blue. This, um, the problem is this masking fluid has to be liquid in this marker, otherwise it will clog. It will. It won't go through this. Yeah, through this nip if it's too, yeah, not li liquid enough. So you ha it has to be liquid. And this is a problem when the masking fluid is too liquid, it's possible that it goes to the, yeah, it goes too deep into the paper. And so I don't, uh, I don't like to use this masking fluid that much because it's, also stains into the paper it's too blue it's really extremely blue compared with uh, my set yeah with this stuff this don't stain into the paper and so i made my own masking fluid pen with this stuff and i mixed it with distilled water but not too much water because i didn't want it to have it too liquid and the problem is that it's about a bit more difficult to <laughs> to use this marker because well it, you have to push it always in between you have to shake it always in between and always test it on a scrap paper before you use it and then you can paint and i only paint outlines the fine outlines and details with it and then for the rest I'm using the brush and the normal masking fluid so it's less less risky and this is the other stuff it's really more blue and yeah and this blue could stain into the paper so I prefer this but I also use this sometimes and I would only use it on really on hot press paper not cold press paper only hot press paper and hot pressed paper and only if it's hard enough not on too soft hot pressed paper and also a tip when you're using masking fluid pen it's not made for watercolor paper as i said the liquid is too soft uh, too, too, uh, <laughs> yeah the liquid is too liquid and also the nip is too hard and when you press too much and maybe go twice like here you want will want to cover a bigger area and goes well you see it destroys the paper so only use it for outlines don't go twice over it when it's wet it destroys the paper and you it won't get away from the paper anymore so it's not easy you have yeah to keep a lot in your mind when you use it and i hope this tips will help you a bit with using masking fluid or also using um, masking fluid pens but it's not a promise that it will work i only can say test it always make your experiments with it i also did this but i also destroyed some illustrations and another point is the more layers you add over masking fluid the more 
it could happen that the paint goes under the masking fluid. This also happened to me when I paint a lot of layers, layers with a lot of water and suddenly you see how the paint goes through this masking fluid. I don't know how this happens, but it happened. And on this part, I couldn't erase the masking fluid too. Sometimes it's only small parts, so it's okay. Then you, I can fix uh, fix the parts with with um, gouache. But if it's a big area, this really sucks. <laughs> okay. Um, and also, when you're using this masking fluid pen, remove it as soon as possible. I wouldn't leave it on the paper more than one day i think it also of course like with the more normal masking fluid it depends on the paper but here's also the problem that it stains so i don't yeah i don't use it with uh too long and uh yeah and another tip is you can change the nib this is the normal masking fluid marker you can get and this is a nib it's a felt tip and it scratches on a bit on the paper and well it's a bit softer of course it's the felt tip but well if you use this you can also use a brush because it's not very detailed and so i changed the tip to a 1.5 tip i don't know how the tip is called it's cute it's a a tube tip or something there are little little holes in it and the masking fluid comes through these holes yes these are the tips for masking fluid and masking fluid pens i hope they will help a bit <laughs> and yes Give a thumb up if you like my videos and subscribe if you like my videos and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!